going to add the head later once I get going here. The first thing to do is to fill in the uh, area where the fill racks is going to be. And now I've got this worked out to be the, the uh, width of the uh, thorax or rib cage. And uh, I'm just going to fill that in. All right, I've got my mannequin uh, maquette, whatever you want to call it, set up here to guide me as far as uh, proportions and, you know, the structure of the muscles and the bone structure and all that stuff. I've got another one here. <clears throat> Replace this one. You can buy these online. This one... Uh, Shows the uh, structure of the arms and stuff like that. It just doesn't have the turntable underneath it like the other one did. Uh, you can take the arm off and uh, observe the muscles in the arm. Uh, these are extremely helpful for uh, getting uh, arms and, and heads right. Ah! Shows the... Uh, structure of the head and everything like that muscle-wise and uh, I think it goes right back on it's held on with magnets I got these from uh, a company called anatomytools.com all right let's get busy adding clay and then I encase the armature. That's why you don't really need to uh, wrap it with wire because quite honestly uh, the clay itself holds itself onto the uh, armature just fine. making the hips why well, because I need that bone structure to get the uh, right form for the uh, body under the clothes I'm just uh, blocking in the, uh, the hips, I mean not the hips, just blocking in the uh, muscles of the upper leg. Checking. That uh, knee is a little long, so I need to redo it. Ah, much better. Now the knee is exactly two heads down. That's why you make little things like this, just to double check your measurements, make sure you're on the button. And I'll push it. 
connection on that way. There we go. The bottom of the chin is one half head up from where the line of the shoulders are, which is right there, which would put the head, bottom of the head right there. All right, that gives me the placement of the head. Now I got, see now the head looks proportional to the body. The uh, chin is perfectly aligned with the uh, chest. And uh, this is all good. I got to start adding clay to the base just to cover up this foam so I don't get uh, dust of foam on my uh, clay. And also, it gives me a bit, you know, finishes off the base a little bit, and then I can work on the base a little bit uh, as time goes by. Now, I've got the uh, base pretty much sketched in. It's not finalized. It's just, you know, the clay's just been put on it, and I've got the figure pretty well positioned the way I want it. She's going to be wear carrying a backpack, so she might be leaning just a little more forward to uh, balance the uh, weight of the backpack. But uh, that's the way it looks right now, and uh, we'll continue this next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.